Okay. Several people have asked, how does the red dragon armor work? I'm going to demonstrate the red dragon armor. I'm also going to demonstrate axes from the Feywild raid that have the, the same dripping of magma ability. Let's go ahead and put on Docent. And then we're going to swing at a target. Now, you'll, you'll notice I have a little bit of fire damage trickling after. That's from the Scion of Fire, Monothork. Now, in front of that is, uh, should be a slightly larger number, about 600 or so. And that is from the weapons as they hit when the Dripping of Magma is present. Uh, for my weapons, I'm using deconstructed daggers. There's no effects on these daggers. Now, uh, something of note is that there is a uh, this little teeny tiny dot. So, more importantly, what this is is a debuff. So, if I if I stop attacking, I target the. Let's see, there's a little bit of a dot. Now, what's also going to happen is is uh, while you're attacking, you're going to to trigger that. And as I start attacking, you'll notice that the number starts small as the stacks are small, and as the stacks increase, the number gets larger. That, that, that is one thing to notice. Uh, also, if you have multiple sources, it, it does not seem to increase the speed with which the debuff is applied. Seems about the same. The axes are going to apply a, a fire vulnerable debuff, but the the other debuff, the damage over time fire, appears to be about the same. And as you can see, the the number is rising, but it's purple, so it's being affected by the uh, the the special fire vulnerable. And then that comes from the the uh, the fire axe, the the flame bitten. Oh, it's just general general vulnerability, which is going to impact all all the different numbers separately. So I'm gonna back up a little bit. You'll see those fire stacks leave. I come back. The numbers start small. The fire numbers on the left, and they they get bigger in accordance with the uh, the the debuff. Take those off. Back on. So start attacking again. The debuff goes on. Take the armor off. And for a little bit the damage is still there. And then the debuff is gone, and then the damage stops stops happening. Run, hack, damage start the the fire proc starts to happen. Armor off. Debuff is still present for a moment. Still happening. Back up a little bit here. Again. Debuff is present. Back up. So basically what would happen is you would you would attack with your with your spell or weapon. Spell I'll show spells in a second. You would attack with your weapons. It would proc, it, the, the, the debuff would apply and basically tick, and, and it would tick quickly with the weapon. Now after the nerf, there's an internal cooldown, it only goes at a certain speed, and so that's, that's how it works now.
Here's Rahadeen. Where we can see. Uh, I'm gonna put a spell on him. Do a little bit of spells on him. Nice and gentle. Much damage because I just throw more of the prop. Proc fell off. It's proc. Proc is impacted by spell power. Take off spell power. Let's uh, up. Couple of stacks on him. Just doing a little bit less, so I took off some spell power. As long as he keeps his death stack, he's on him. He's going to take damage from the fire. From the, from the fire armor. The the weapons do not I take a lot of damage once I do this. Weapons are not going to apply by a spell. Okay, we're not we're not applying the, the magma. Second that we put on armor again. Once again apply the stacks. Stacks up to five. He is impacted by spell power. There we go. That is how. That's how the, the dragon armor works with the spells. Look at him again. Pick a little bit. It could just be any spell. It could be Sonic Blast. And he's going to take that uh, proc on. As long as the proc is on, he's going to take the damage. There we go. And that's it. 